Is back pain ever an emergency? Great question. Back pain is very common. Over 90% of people will have back pain at some point in their lives. It's usually transient and will improve over the course of approximately four to six weeks. However, sometimes it will persist or worsen. When that happens, it's important to see a doctor. It's rarely an emergency, but back pain is an emergency if it's associated with severe symptoms in the leg, such as weakness or inability to move your foot or your leg, incontinence or changes in their ability to urinate or have bowel movements. When people do have severe back pain without symptoms in their legs or changes in their bowel or bladder function, it's often referred to as throwing their back out. This means that they've likely created a strain or a sprain in their low back that's causing them extreme pain. This almost always resolves without any operative intervention or treatment. It usually re does require a period of rest for one to two days followed by increasing your activity level slowly and gradually. If the symptoms persist for more than two to four weeks, you should see a doctor to have it evaluated. There are a few things that we see over and over in our clinics. Patients often, when the winter comes, need to shovel their sidewalks and their driveways, and they often end up shoveling too much snow and causing injury to their back in the form of a strain or possibly even a disc herniation. When snow shoveling, remember to use very low weight and try and minimize the amount of snow that you're shoveling. Um, it may take more time, but with intermittent breaks, it's more likely to result in a clean driveway and a safe back. Another way that patients injure themselves in the fall and in the winter is lifting heavy items. If it's moving the snow plow or lifting their children, um, heavy items can cause a lot of strain on the back and result in injury. If you do need to move heavy items, remember to use proper technique, keeping your back straight and lifting with your legs, and recruit help, be it your family or friends, to help you move those large items. It's much safer to move with multiple people than it is to try and move something large by yourself. Remember, no one wants to be in the hospital around the holidays, so try and be safe and take care of your back.